Hey everybody, it's Michael here. I wanted to whip up a really rough, quick video um, to get you guys a little bit up to speed on some things. Um, first and foremost, um, if you were an Indiegogo contributor uh, to the to the campaign, um, first of all, uh, thank you, of course. But uh, what I'm getting at is, um, I've got perks to start distributing, so I don't want you guys to think I've forgotten or ignored the perks. Um, it's been a crazy, crazy month. A lot has happened with uh, with the film and with uh, my activism. So that got put on the back burner. So I apologize. I appreciate your patience. Uh, but I'm going to get back on that very, very soon and get those get those sorted out so you can guys, guys can start collecting your perks. Um, what else? Uh, a few, uh, few social media rock stars that I've kind of sort of been watching for a little while. Um, and I've talked to them now, and and they've agreed that they'll 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 sort of come on board as a social media people for the team for or for the film uh, as a social media team for the film. So uh, social media had all I, all the Facebook updates and and the little bit of Twitter that's happened has been almost exclusively me um, thus thus far, and because I've been so busy with with the film and with the activism. Uh, as you guys know, uh, there just have not been many updates lately in the last month or so, so that'll change. Uh, as I said, I've got some people now that uh, that I. It took a while for me to find some people that I thought would be really good at it, but I've got a couple now, real uh, real ringers. So that's uh, so that's in the works. So you'll start getting a lot more updates uh, coming soon. Um, and so what this video is is uh, is a simply a, I wanted to give you guys a bit of a feel of what it's like to shoot uh, for this film. Uh, as as you probably know from some of the pictures on Facebook that I'm doing the shooting myself. <clears throat> Pardon me. Um, and so I thought I'd take some of the footage that I did today, or that I gathered today, and just do a really rough cut of it together, and then and show it to you guys so you can get a sense of what it's like and was you know get a bit of a a teaser of what's what's coming in the film and and what it's like in a typical typical shooting scenario. Very run and gun. Um, in a lot of ways, it's much like event new, event news gathering, uh, ENG they call it, um, where you're just sort of the camera has to capture the event or else it's just it's too late. There's no retake, right? Um, it, it's a lot like that, not quite, but it's very similar. So I'm just gonna hit play on this little video here that I've sort of slapped together very very roughly. Um, so if you have a look now, if you, if you've been watching the pig safe stuff that's been really popular lately, it's been on the news in the states and in Canada. Um, there are some similarities. I mean, we've got vigil people here, um, as you've seen before. This that's not new to you, and and they go up to the trucks and they're offering water and that sort of stuff. There are the animals, of course. That's a lot like pig safe, but the difference, the main difference with cow safe, is that the slaughterhouses uh, where this all takes place are not at Strawn and Lakeshore, like Pig Safe, um, where you've got the island to stand on and it's relatively safe. I mean, certain, you know, obviously it's near traffic, so there's a certain degree of danger, but it's it, it's at a whole different level from Cow Safe. Here, it's an industrial area, and we're literally running alongside the trucks. Um, here's Anita taking pictures, as always, of course. Um, that's fecal matter that you can see on the on the on the vent holes there. That's because there are two levels. Uh, so the animals that are on the top, uh, their digestive waste, I'll be polite about it, uh, simply trickles down the sides of the trucks on the inside and it pours onto the, the animals on the lower level. Uh, and it collects at the bottom and the animals walk through it and it's, it's, it's disgusting. Again, there's Anita. She's getting photographs because the truck has to stop and wait for the other truck to come out. So I see th this trucker, ha he's waiting to unload. Um, and he's wants to back in, but now he's being told, no, hold on, get back out of the way because the previous truck that had just unloaded needs to come out first. They've decided, uh, there are two loading, loading docks, but I don't know if, if they're both functional or what. So anyway, that's what's going on. And you can see there's construction going on. Um, so on the left there, that truck's pulling out of the one slaughterhouse St. Helens. And across the street is uh, riding Regency, so they're both they're both uh, cattle slaughter plants. Um, so off goes this truck, empty, and then in comes this one. So I've got to keep, you know, I've got to watch the viewfinder so I can get my shots. Um, 
you know, and, and try do my best to, to to get in there and 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 you know show you how the how the poor cows are in filth. Look at it. Look at their legs and they it's all stuck to their fur. Um, it's you know they're dripping with with urine and and it's just it's it's utterly sickening and it smells awful. Um, it, meanwhile, I've got you know two backhoes. Um, and I say I, I mean, I should, we, it's, it's, it's a danger to everyone, all of us participating in this procedure, whether it's me behind the camera or whether it's the activists themselves uh, with cameras also. There's Agnes backing out of the way because it's just, there's so much dust being kicked up. It's just, you know, it's, it's very unhealthy. It's loud. It's bad for your ears. It's bad for your lungs. It's bad for your soul. The security guard's got to cover his face because of the amount of dust that's being kicked up. And of course the dust is contaminated with dried up, you know, fecal particles and and so the truck backs in and then there's nothing else we can do so you walk away and uh, you wait for the next truck and then the whole thing starts all over again so that's a that's that's sort of a, a, a taste of what goes on I, obviously there's a lot more going on in the film than that um, I'm working on interviews and things like that but that gives you a sort of a, a run and gun uh, in the in the sort of in the trenches view of of what uh, what will be in the film so i hope you guys find that interesting and uh don't be afraid to hit me up with questions you can ask questions through twitter and uh like i said uh social media updates will be uh, a lot more frequent and a lot more regular uh in the next short while as i uh get some good people on board okay thanks guys and i hope you're all well take care